hate all you art fans. Welcome to Keep Art It. I'm Doug. I'm Alex. And we are here at the Bristol Old Vic for the press night of... Ba -ba 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 -ba. Leo Toy Stories, Anna Karenia. Written by Leslie Hart and directed by Polina Kalimina. We are so excited. This play is going to be epic, amazing. I personally have read Anna Karenina twice. I love it. It's a great book. Not a Tolstoy and Russian authors have been someone close to my heart. So I'm really excited to see how it comes across on stage. Mm, it should be very interesting. I've never seen any Tolstoy performed on stage before, so I'm excited to see it. Have you read it before? I've read War and Peace, but I still haven't read Anna Karenina. So. Then you're in for a treat. You're in for a treat. We'll come back to you once we've seen the show. Stay tuned for more. And well, as always, subscribe if you like this kind of content and want to see more. And we appreciate you. Keep art it. I just came out of Anna Karenina and man, it was a absolute roller coaster. It was full of intensity, passion, beauty. And I really enjoyed the staging and the way that Leslie Hart and Polina Kalanina, the director, took something that was this 900 page text, this epic story of love, loss, and decisions in how we live our lives and turned it into something really contemporary and uh, digestible. Now, with that being said, it's an intense play. I mean, if you haven't read Anna Karenina, it's a lot. I mean, emotionally, it, it hits home, which is a good thing, but it's also like sometimes there's movies I've watched in my life that I want to watch once and I don't always want to watch again because it's so intense that it's hard to keep seeing those things over and over. But the staging, the acting, the costumes, uh, those are all fantastic. Overall though, but it is just a huge undertaking to take a Leo Tolstoy 900 page novel and turn it into a you know, two hour play. It's quite a accomplishment that that has happened and it's been completely cohesive and felt natural. Um, some of the highlights for me were the costumes and the way that the writing and movements intersected between the characters. Uh, there was a lot of use of talking around each other to give complex ideas a little bit more shape and form. But, and the thing that really, uh, I think, maybe let it down for me a little bit was the, the there was a lot of overwhelming sound. And sometimes I feel like the actors got lost to the sound itself, which uh, I found a bit disappointing. So overall, a four out of five stars, four and a half maybe. But, you know, it's, it's a great play. It's a great story. Um, it's really interesting for me to see it now as a dad because there's a lot of the struggle of being a parent. A new dad, what is that like? How do you care for a baby? Uh, there's a powerful line from one of the characters. He said, I don't know how to be a dad. Uh, I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to love him. Uh, and you know, that's something I know a lot of fathers struggle with. Um, the, you know, the, the main, Anna Karenina's husband, he doesn't know how to love his son. It's, it's a tragedy in that respect that we're not taught how to love as men. And I think it's something that maybe was more present in the play uh, in, in a welcome way than in the original novel, although it is still there. Um, some other reflections are that there was a huge amount of effects in the back in the first act that I think were very effective that in the second act were less utilized or less well executed maybe. So there's a few things there that, that were really well done, really beautiful. Um, overall, definitely worth coming out to the old Vic. And like I said, the, the acting, the passion, uh, they were all there, they're so strong. But you know, that's often the way with a story like that, that kind of starts off one way, peaks, and you know, it's like, Watching that slow descent can sometimes be a painful, a painful thing to see happen when somebody who you identify with is just going through such tough times. And there's no way out, you know, that's the thing. But 
Yeah, it's great to see the theater. It's great to see great actors acting and all of them really delivered on their performances. So I hope you got something out of this review. I hope that you click that subscribe button. Uh, I'm Doug Carson. This is Keith Bardit, and that's exactly what you should do.